Self-denigration is a regular and a major part of human worship. And it is never healthy. What I want to do with you in this first session is to go into what I call the dark side of religion. The dark side. The source of much religious wounding. I want us to try to understand its origins. To seek a way to turn that darkness into light. What drives us to choose guilt-ridden rel religiosity? I mean, it's not a lot of fun. That's a good question. We seem to do it, and we seem to enjoy it. There's deep in the human psyche a sense of inadequacy and of fear, and, and I, think it's the, I think it's trying to wrestle with self-consciousness. When I was writing the book on eternal life, I, I couldn't go into eternal life by trying to study eternal life, because where do you go to study it? And who do you interview? And where do you do your research? There's no data. And so what I had to do was to go through what I can study, which is life. And I tried to look at the meaning of life so deeply that I began to understand things like your question. That's the background. If religion in general, and Christianity in particular, can be a wounding experience, what do we need to do to it to make it a healing experience? A religion of wholeness that empowers us to be deeply and fully human, that calls us beyond the limits of our fear, beyond our survival mentality, to stop thinking of ourselves as fallen sinners who need to be saved, and to begin to see ourselves rather as incomplete human beings who need to be called more deeply and more fully into life. That's a very different goal. And that would produce a very different understanding of religion. And in my particular situation, that would produce a very different understanding of the Christ function. 